we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equity of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation yeah the preamble of our constitution but what is it actually it is an introductory statement in a document that explains the document's philosophy and objectives we all are aware that preamble is in the constitution but is it a part of indian constitution the answer can be discovered if we go to some cases in the barbary case or barbary case 1960 it was stated that the preamble of the constitution serves as a guide to open the minds of the famous creators or makers of law but it is not the source of all the powers given to the government by the constitution of india preamble cannot be used to declare any part of the constitution as ambiguous and it cannot deprive the legislature from performing its functions basically it was said that the preamble is not a part of the constitution therefore it is not enforceable in the court of law in kesavananda bharti versus state of kerala 1973 It was held by the Apex Court by a majority of seven colon six that Parliament can amend any provision of the Constitution to fulfil its socio-economic obligations guaranteed to the citizens. But the basic structure of the Constitution may never get amended. It was the very first time in history where a branch of thirteen judges was assembled to hear a petition. The court clarified that the preamble of the Constitution will now be considered as a part of the Constitution, and it was reduced by the court that the Parliament has the power to amend the Constitution to the extent that such amendment does not change the basic structure of the Indian Constitution. The Honorable Court added, while amending the provisions of the Constitution, the doctrine of basic structure should be followed by the Parliament. Also, in the case of Union Union Government versus LIC of India, nineteen ninety five, it was held by the Supreme Court again that the preamble is an integral part of the Constitution, but is not directly enforceable in a court of justice in India.